What's up guys, this is Fritz and I'm super excited about this tutorial. So basically this is 3D motion tracking, all in After Effects, no plugins required. It's really easy and really, really cool and it looks great. So you can see how perfectly this is tracked. Um, there's some text right there and it's beautiful and it turns and everything. It's so nice. There's a logo right there in the window and um, it's great. So it doesn't require any plugins. It's really easy, really uh like I don't know, affordable maybe, and uh, yeah, so it can track. I it can track video clip, it can track text, and it can track pictures. Pretty much anything you want, it will track. So we've got our cinematic down here, and I'm gonna get rid of these things for now. And um, so we're gonna make a new composition real quick. And now I don't want to have to like wait the whole track thing, and I'll show you what I mean. So here's our cinematic, the plain thing. It's smooth, it's slow, and just so you can see how slow it is. It's about that slow. Maybe it's faster than that. It's like, let me see, one second, two second. It's slow. It's really slow. And uh, smooth, and you can speed it up later. That's no no big deal. So what you want to do is go under your effects and presets thing and look up perspective and add it on 3D camera tracker and just drag and drop and it's going to start and it will say step one. Actually, I'll just show you. There we go. It'll say analyzing background step one and two. Just you can do other editing and other compositions, but I prefer not to. I just kind of leave it the way it is. And um, yeah, and then it will just say solving camera step two of two, and that's it. But I'm not gonna let it finish because it takes a while. So we're gonna go back to here. But once it's done, you're gonna see this, and it will be just this cluster of colors and bullseyes if you click on them, and it's great. So um, it's really, really easy from here on out. All you have to do is kind of lasso an area. So what I mean by that is I'll click here and I'm gonna drag my mouse in a circle in an area. So just like that, and it will make like a little bullseye there in the middle and you can see it's pretty well tracked. It kind of goes up a little bit, but that's no big deal because um, we can change it all after. And then we're just gonna right click somewhere in this circle and hit create null. So null object is kind of something that you uh, whiplash too and I'll show you that so we have our emerald video here first thing we want to do is grab this little whip here and this is to parent stuff so you can see um, we're gonna move it up to where it says track null and then we're gonna click on this little box here to make it a 3d object and that's pretty straightforward if you can't see it click there and uh, like on this toggle switch mods and then you'll be able to see it. So there we go, there's our text and it's already tracked right now but we can make it look even nicer. So just hit R on your keyboard and we can change our X orientation so you can see that brings it upright. So we want it at 90 degrees we'll say, maybe a little less, 85 degrees because it was on an incline. And uh, we can change our Y rotation to make it, it can be spinning while we're tracking it so that's pretty cool too. We'll just leave it at normal for now and then we can make it do that and anything you really want to do the, uh, uh, um, it's all in this and it's already tracked so uh, we can just click on it we'll move it up um, we'll make it a little bit bigger and there we go okay so there you go that's it and uh, we can move it up by using the Z one so there we go and then you just kinda play with it get it right get it so it's tracked just the way you want it to be tracked and then just hit play and watch the magic there you go see it's stuck on the ground as it appears I'll do a RAM preview so you can see and it's not it's beautiful it's just it's really easy so that's the one thing and that's just for the uh that's a video i'll show you text now text is pretty cool too so we don't have to redo the whole camera tracking thing we'll just go up here like to here right for we return where to return right there so right here go back to click on your cinematic layer click on this uh up here where it just says 3d tracker click there and then we're gonna make our lasso again and gather up some points so all get in here group hug and right click and this time instead of hitting create solid we'll hit create text and then we've got our text layer up here just hit r we'll change our x orientation or rotation not orientation our x to 90 and we might make it a little smaller and it's all editable just click on the text tool up here and highlight it and you can change the to font so bbass is a font I like um, we'll make it say Fritz and we can change the color just highlight and we'll go ginger color there we go and then it's the same thing to move it around you just uh, make sure you have your like little selection tool we'll move it up and we'll move this over a little bit we can we can have it spinning too like that if we want 
Uh, there we go. So we'll just leave it right there. And as you can see, it's tracked. It's already behind the video. Let's see if the video ends right there, but whatever. And then the camera will turn. I forget where it turns. Right there. And you can see the text goes with it. So it's it's great. And um, let's see if we want to, we'll put like a logo right there. So you can have more practice. Click on your cinematic layer. Click on camera tracker up at the top. Lasso some of your little dots. There we go. We got our dots. Right click because it's a picture, not text. We want a null object. Then we're going to go to our project files. Bring in our logo. Use the kick whip to bring it up to the null object. And then make it a 3D layer. And there you go. So we'll use these little arrows to bring it back over here because it's a little far away. I don't know why. And R for rotation so that way we can make it upright. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's not really much more to do here. That's that's it. That's the basics of it. Um, I love doing this. I've been doing it in all my edits recently. I can't wait. The opportunities are just endless in this. And um, it's just so easy. Who knew tracking was so easy? I mean, sorry, Bougie, but you're fired. I mean, look at this. It's it just all pre-done. It's great. It's so helpful. So that's the tutorial for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe at the top if you want to learn how to edit and, or you just want to improve or you're just in a good mood. And like the video if you are feeling horny. I'm out. See ya.